February is American Heart Month. It's a good time to draw attention to the leading cause of death in women, heart disease. The American Heart Association's Go Red for Women campaign aims to end heart disease and stroke in women through education and lifestyle changes. In the African American community, the incidents of heart disease are extremely alarming. More than 48,000 black women die from the disease every year, and only about 50% of African American women are even aware of the signs and symptoms of a heart attack. Even fewer recognize that heart disease is their greatest health risk. Here to tell us more about local efforts is the campaign co-chair Janice Cosby Bridges of Ascension Health Michigan, along with Dr. Alexia Norwood, a family practice specialist with the Henry Ford Medical Group. Thanks for being here, both of you. Thank you. And you Thank have you. your red. I on. have it. I'm ready. Go red. Go, <laughs> red, go red. I'm ready. <laughs> All right. So talk, talk to me about the, the campaign. Well, the campaign um, is a, a passion of mine because, as you just said, African American women don't realize that it is the number one killer uh -huh. in our community, as well as one out of three women die of heart disease every year. Right. And so, you know, it's something that I'm very passionate about. I want to educate African American women about it. It also affects Hispanic women yeah. in the, uh, that community, too. So. Um, uh, there's going to be a luncheon uh, next week uh, on the 12th of February and uh, it's going to be a wonderful time where we'll have workshops and we'll have a, a auction, a silent auction and a wonderful speaker and it's just a seeing the women come together in their red and you know learning more about heart disease it's, it's just going to be a wonderful time right and those those numbers that uh, i read off yeah, there and they're the, staggering the intro, they're, they're unbelievable i mean yes, that, they are. It, it is an awareness issue obviously it is i mean awareness. i didn't i didn't know and i right. imagine a lot of other people don't right either. right and we're not getting checkups and i'm sure the physician will talk about that but we just don't we don't talk to our physicians about it and we just need to be more educated about heart disease yeah yeah uh we're talking about this in the context of this campaign and this specific uh, uh, issue and these specific numbers, but this is a sort of a broader, a broader issue about health and health maintenance uh, and management in the African American community. Oh, well, very, very much so. Um, heart disease is the number one killer of men and women. Mm -hmm. Every right. ethnicity <coughs> is affected by heart disease. It kills. It's, it's not. Uh, a bias, it kills men and women of all ethnicities and different age groups. So we think it's really important because it's the number one killer to make sure that people do the right things. And the first thing to do is to make sure that you see your doctor, get the help and the screening test that you need. So if our women get a well, health, well healthness exam, a woman's wellness exam, we'll actually be able to tell them what their risk factors are and hopefully help to decrease the risk of having an incident. And, and how old uh, are, are, should women be when they start thinking about this? Is this something that affects young women too, or uh, is, it, is it as you get older? So uh, heart disease, 20 women 20 and older have an increased risk of heart disease, right? And the risk are actually 20 starting- 20 and older. 20 and older. Wow. And one of the concerns for us has been the fact that women, younger and younger, are getting the risk factors. Because one of the risk factors for heart disease is obesity. Another one is diabetes right. and high blood pressure. And we're seeing that increase among young people. We're seeing so. that at younger and younger ages because of the lifestyles we've all chosen to live, including smoking, which is one of the big risk factors for heart disease. Yeah. And young women are choosing to smoke even younger thinking that it will help them to maintain their weight or to decrease their weight. Right. What it's actually doing is killing their heart muscles and affecting their brain. So um, heart disease is really big as they even start to get older. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and so when we talk about these, these kind of campaigns, how do you reach women uh, in a large, I mean, this is a large contingent of women who have to be reached. Yes, it is. To talk about that, how do you, how do you get uh, sort of past those barriers to? Well, I think it's really going out into the community, and that's the one thing I really love about the uh, American Heart Association and Go Red, because they go to the community. They go out to schools, they go out to churches, and uh, they always are, you know, trying to educate us about the dangers of heart disease. I mean, I, you know, I, I always thought I would die of cancer because my mother died of cancer, and and then I learned I didn't know I learned that 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 heart disease is the number one killer of women, and so it, it's even people like me, you know, who are educated, you know, it was it was just a, a, a astounding to me 
that uh, it's something that we need to be aware of and and Go Red for Women really does do a great job. It's just not, it just doesn't end with the luncheon, but it's something that uh, the American Heart Association, Go Red, they do all year. Yeah. To educate right. women about this. And of course, there's a lot on the goredforwomen.org. You can go there and find out a lot of information. And, and how receptive uh, do you find women to this, these, these numbers, these, uh, these, these bits of information about uh, about this disease and how how prevalent it is and how much they need right. to pay attention. Right, you know, every you know when I talk to my friends and family, my sisters, uh, uh, they're just shocked. Usually, people are just totally <laughs> astounded that you know this is the number one killer of uh, of, heart, of, of of women, and I think that usually when you educate them about it, they usually you know, become active and want to uh, see their physicians and uh, learn more about it. So it's just about educating women. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, it seems to me that one of the ways to into this issue is through family, uh, through African-American families, because as you point out, it's not just African-American women who, uh, who are at risk for this, it's African-American men as well. Uh, that gets to the issue of, um, of access and and uh, healthcare in in the country, uh, how African Americans sort of interact with that system, the healthcare system, differently from others. Yeah. So we know that with the Affordable uh, Care Act, that's given access, thankfully, a lot more access to individuals who know who didn't have insurance before, and it's so it's really important to get an alignment so that you can align with your primary care physician. But it does start at home, you know, and we know that families education starts with modeling in the home. So seeing parents have foods that are healthier foods, not doing the processed foods, foods high in salt, trying to avoid those. Cooking, I always tell my patients at uh, Henry Ford Health System to eat from the ground. Eat from the ground, meaning don't buy your food off of a package. Buy, eat your food from the ground, things that are grown, that actually helps to decrease, uh, decrease the salt in your food and hopefully helps to decrease your blood pressure. Right. So there's a there's a lot that we can do, but it, it starts with the risk factors. And is the tie here between high blood pressure and other uh, other things to heart disease? I mean, is that sort of the the, the vehicle through which you, you get that sort of exposure? Yeah, so the number one risk factor for heart disease is having high blood it's pressure. It's high blood pressure, okay. Yeah, and that's the number one risk factor. But diabetes is another risk factor. Smoking is a risk factor. Being sedentary, not moving, is a big risk factor in our community. And we know that four out of five African-American women are overweight or obese. Wow. So wow. if we don't do something about those numbers now, changing that in our homes, it will affect generations to come. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. when we talk about lifestyle changes, that's, that's very difficult, right? I oh, mean, yes. it's really easy to say, I'm gonna do something different right. now, to try to lose a couple of pounds or to try to get fit for the summer or whatever. It's oh, yeah. another thing to sort of change your life so that all the time right. you're doing it differently. Right, it's a total lifestyle change. It, like you said, it's just not a mm -hmm. one-shot deal. I mean, I remember when I uh, started with Go Red, I, I, I ate a little poorly, you know, and I've improved my eating habits. I don't use table salt anymore. I exercise, I've always been an exercise person, but really, you know, I like what you said about eating from the ground up. Mm -hmm. Reading labels, we need to learn how to read those packages and, you know, kind of when you go shopping, go on the outskirts of the, of the grocery store, not in, the, in between and eating all those processed foods. And in, in the African-American community, we are notorious for doing that, you know, sure. fast foods and eating processed foods. and so. It is effect, it affects our, our whole life, our, our, our life. And so, um, again, I think if we, also we need to see our physicians. Yeah. We need but to see I, our primary care physicians have regular checkups, and uh, that's something that we just don't do. We sometimes present ourselves in the emergency rooms and think that's going to take care of us. Right. And that's not what we need. We need to see our primary, forget, primary care physicians every year. Yeah, and that's, uh, that's a difficult, that's a difficult hurdle to get over too, to get people to understand. You do have to go yes. once a year. Because you, most people think that they need to see a doctor when they're sick. When they don't feel good. <laughs> and when they don't feel good. But our main objectives are to take care of patients before they get sick. Mm -hmm. So we want to prevent your first heart attack because we know for women, when they have their first heart attack, they're more likely to die than men. Right. Women, is that true? I didn't know that yeah. either. Women, when they have their Why first heart attack, so? because of the multiple risk factors and the support systems. Women are tend to be caregivers. 
So they will help take care of the male in the home who's had a heart attack or a stroke, <laughs> but who's taking care of them when, she, uh, when right. something happens. Yeah. So the, the risk factors for women are real, and when they have their first heart attack, they, their disabilities are even worse than men. So they have more disability, more physical limitations, and much more effect on right. their lifestyle. Right. So you don't want to treat your heart attack. You want to prevent the heart attack by reducing your risk factors. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, one of the things I mentioned in the open is that uh, a lot of m women don't know the signs of heart disease or heart attack. How do yes. you how do you break that barrier? So so one we know that the multiple risk factors such as high blood pressure there are no symptoms and very often women think women and men think you know I know my blood pressure is up because I have a headache. No, you have a headache. Your blood pressure can be up when you have absolutely when no you symptoms. Feel fine. Mm -hmm. It's the silent killer. Right. So most people have no symptoms. That's the reason you need to check your blood pressure to know where it is and where your blood tests are with your cholesterol, your blood sugar, so that you know what those risk, risk factors are. But the signs for women can be very different. The number one sign and symptom for men and women is chest pain. So women and men have chest pain as the number one symptom, but women more often have more vague symptoms where it's not chest pain but a pressure. Sometimes they describe having just fatigue, like having a flu, or having shortness of breath, feeling sweaty, feeling tight, having a pain in their back, up their jaw or in their arm, symptoms that can be very different that men may not describe. Right. More so just having, and one woman compl actually complained of having more like heartburn symptoms where you hear it a lot and they think it's related to something that they ate. So the symptoms can be different. But what we want you to know is when you have any of those symptoms, don't try to figure it out thinking it's something else and very often that's the case that they assume it's something else get, call 911, get the help that you need. Let us tell you right. that it's indigestion and not a heart attack. Right, mm -hmm. right. Uh, we've got about a minute left. How can uh, just ordinary women engage with uh, right. this campaign? Go to uh, go, goredforwomen.org to find out more information. And we would love to have more. We have tickets left, I'm sure, for uh, next Friday, February the 12th, for uh -huh. the Go Red event. Kim Coase, who is an, a comedian, actress, uh, Arthur is going to be the guest speaker and okay. she's fabulous and we're taking a little different spin on the uh, luncheon this year. It's going to have a lot of humor but uh, also a lot of education right. about what the Go Red organization does. Okay and yeah. get people focused on the way to do this and the long term, the big right. picture, right. Uh, not just now but always. Right. And if you have any of those symptoms, get in, get in. Right. Please make sure we wait. We have a tendency as women not to take care of ourselves. but. Yeah. Please see your doctor. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you both for being here and good luck with the campaign. Thank you very thank much. You.